Hey there, everybody. Welcome to my observatory. Today, I'm going to be imaging with my 8-inch Ritchie Crichton telescope. As you can see, I've got it all set up. All the cables are hooked up and cameras in place. Just waiting for sunset, which won't be much longer. Another 40 minutes or so, it'll be dark. I'll be able to find Polar Polaris and uh, align my scope, get everything focused. Got my laptop already hooked up and everything set, just waiting for darkness. So it should be a good night. It was really hot today here in Texas. Uh, it got up to 92 degrees, I think it was. But they say it's gonna cool down here to about 72, so it should be okay. We'll see. But uh, I'll just sit here and wait, and uh, I'll be back when it's dark. Stay tuned. Well, this here is my other telescope. It's an eight inch Ritchie Crichton, and it's made specially for imaging. I got my uh, CCD camera hooked up. And uh, as you can see here, this telescope is made by a company called TPO. I got my guide scope hooked up. And I have my finder scope on this side. All the cables are more or less uh, organized, best I could. Got my laptop over here ready. All I gotta do now is just wait for sunset, wait for darkness. telescope is tracking well everything's going pretty good tonight it's a beautiful night out here but I'm gonna be indoors inside the cabin imaging tonight so my laptop and everything will be inside the cabin I'll come out here once in a while and check on stuff but everything's being going on okay Well, it's about 12.30 a.m. And my imaging session is going well. The scope is tracking well. And I brought my laptop inside my cabin. So it's, so it's much more comfortable in here. And, uh, and I'll keep imaging for another hour or so. Let's see how long I can stay up. Well, as to be expected when you're doing astrophotography, there's always something that's gonna go wrong. Or you're always gonna have some issues. If, if you don't, you're, you're lucky. And that night I was imaging, uh, it was no different. Uh, the telescope was tracking well, but the camera was working well also. I ended up taking, I think it was about 180 light images. Each image was 15 seconds, I think it was. And everything looked fine on the screen on my capture software. I'm using the APT and everything worked good. So when I get home and uh, try to stack all my 180 images in the Deep Sky Stacker, uh, DSS would not recognize them for some reason. It, it wouldn't stack any of the images. 
it kept saying it couldn't find any stars. And uh, I've been trying to make it work for a week now and all I got out of my image session was I was able to use two images out of the 180. So this image I'm going to show you is, is the result of stacking two images uh, on DSS and using star tools to bring out all, all the data and uh, get the best image possible from, from these two stacked images. So uh, the image uh, had turned out okay, decent. You could, you could, you could see the nebula, but uh, it's not what I expected. I, I was expecting a much, much better image, but oh well, there's always next time. <laughs> So the camera I was using is the ZWO ASI 178 MC cooled. I've had this camera for over a year, almost two years, and I've been hesitating to to do the the change from DSLR to one of these CCD cameras because I I know there's always going to be a learning curve. But I've decided I have this camera, so I might as well jump in and work out all the issues. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below if you have any suggestions or ideas on, on what I can do to improve my imaging process uh, or how to fix my equipment. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and, and uh, click on the like button, please, if you like the video. And uh, once again, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.